Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. So we watched 50 First Dates, and it was hilarious. It was your pick. Mm -hmm. I wanted to watch The Truman Show. I don't remember the guy's name who directed it. I told you. Who was it? I told Peter you Weir. Peter Weir. Thank you, babe. I asked her to help me remember because I looked it up. This movie is phenomenal, man. It's a cultural movie that I feel like everyone should see. You were telling me that one time on a softball trip, the girls voted to watch this movie and you said no. Yeah. <laughs> right. And you didn't end up watching it. No. And I was telling her it might have really blew her mind and changed her whole perception. Don't want to say too much, man. I'm just ready to get into the movie because my big mouth, I don't know, is spoiling something. So like, comment, subscribe. Hit us up on Patreon. At the end of the movie, we're going to break it down the best we can. This is one of those that you could take at face value. You could take it for what it is, or you could get super deep, man. This movie has a lot of implications about humanity, human nature, where things are going. A lot of questions get brought up in this. Like I said, I don't want to say too much. Uh, baby, here you go. I don't want you to miss nothing. <laughs> Put these on. All right, you guys ready? Let's go. We've become bored with watching actors give us phony emotions. There's nothing fake about Truman himself. No scripts. It's a life. That guy gave director vibes or something. I'm not gonna make it. You're gonna have to go on without me. I don't think I've ever talked to myself in a mirror like that. <laughs> we find many viewers leave him on all night for comfort. You're crazy, you know that? Is that his medicine cabinet? <laughs> it's all real. Nothing here is fake. Nothing you see on this show is fake. It's merely controlled. Let's go. Eat me, damn it. That's an order. Maybe just your love handles. What? I have love handles. Okay. Day 10,909. Good morning. Morning. Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Morning, Truman. Morning, Spencer. <laughs> hey, Pluto. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh, get down. He won't hurt. Oh. Yeah. Get down. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's just me. <laughs> Come on, Pluto. Let me know. Are you guys dog people or what? <gasps> I love dogs. I love Pluto. <laughs> Oh my god, is that a bomb? <laughs> serious. Here's a news flash. Does that sound familiar to serious? Like the radio Probably station? Mm -hmm. FM? Over sea Haven nope. just a few moments ago. Uh -huh. Wow. Luckily no one was Galactical but stuff. Hey, how do you feel today? Mm -hmm. Settle back and let this music calm you down. Calm down, Truman. His town looks so happy, though. Like... Dog fancy, please. Oh, thank you. Good. Hey, thank you very I feel much. like I'd go out of business huh. if I ran that. There, hey, there's Errol. that dog, Pluto, in that. Oh, and, uh, one of these. The wife loves her fashion mags. That'd be all for you, Truman. That's the whole kitten caboodle. Catch you later. Yeah. That's the whole kitten caboodle. <laughs> So, do you understand what's going on so far? He's just, he hey, just morning, is, uh, Truman. he's done something morning, for 10,000 days. Morning, Not 100% positive. Maybe he went to work. Always. Uh, and how's your lovely wife? Good, good. How about yours? Oh, couldn't be better. Good. Good. Hey, think about that policy, yes, huh? Thank you. Okay, that's two for one. That's a good deal. <laughs> Doppelganger special. <laughs> that was an insane hey, scene right there. Going in? Go ahead. He works for the chicken hey, plant? No, you first, please. <laughs> <laughs> yes, hello. Could I have directory assistance for Fiji, please? Fiji Islands. Truman, did you see this? Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. If if uh, he's in a coma, he's probably uninsurable. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, Fiji, please. Do you have a listing for Lauren Garland? Nothing listed. Okay. Do you have a Sylvia Garland? S for Sylvia. Nothing. Okay, thank you. Am I supposed to know what he's talking about? Because I have no... Uh, who are those people? No, you don't know those people. Not yet. I just don't want to talk too much. You react, I'm a chill. I'm going to react to what I'm seeing in terms of like <laughs> not movie related. This was all you. <laughs> Why is he ripping them girls up? Lawrence. Hey, we're back. <laughs> we're making cutbacks at the end of this month. Cutbacks. Yeah. Now you need this. Besides, a half hour across the bay, a little sea air. Do you good? Hey, thanks. He said, like and subscribe. Hello. Are you still here, huh? I might have missed it. One way or return? Return. <laughs> Two bucks. That's it. There you go, sir. <laughs> well, didn't you see? He lives in the best place on earth. Things are cheap there. Oh, nice. Happiest town in America. It's called, I think, Sunnyville. Does he have, like, bridge PTSD or something? Oh. Yeah, I get a refund. Do you need any help, sir? You go ahead. I'll I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Couldn't do it. Right. Hi, honey. 
Look what I got free at the checkout. It's a chef's pal. It's a dicer, grater, peeler, all in one. Never need sharpening, dishwasher safe. Nice. Wow, that's amazing. Truman, missed a spot. Why, why are they gardening like that? Mm, that is a beer. You know, I'm thinking about getting out, Marlon. Yeah? Out of what? Out of my job. I gotta see you. Off this island, out. Out of your job? What the hell's wrong with your job? You have a great job, Truman. You, you have got a desk, desk job. job. Oh, nice. Joker desk job. There you go. You should try stocking vending machines for a living. No, thanks. Now, there's excitement. I know somebody who tried that. Itchy feet. Where's there to go? BG. Oh, that's why he likes cans, because he stocks vending machines? Where the hell is BG? Near Florida? So, when are you going to go? It's not that simple. It takes money, planning. You can't just up and go. Right. I'm going to do it. Don't worry about that. Bonus time is just around the corner. Right, but he can't go because he tried to go do that bonus and he couldn't. Are you coming for a drink? He was too scared. Yeah. No, I can't. Die. You noticed the bridge was broken. So they backed their cars up like that? Yeah, and they just hit golf ball. They had a cool spot. Yeah, I didn't even consider that. I think we should head back. Oh, no, Dad. Yes. No, come just on. We should go car. back. So, car, listen. Please, please. Okay. Oh, he's having like a flashback. That's why he was freaking out about that boat. Yeah, pop stuff fell in. Did you see that? <gasps> That made me stressed out about the water, wouldn't it, you? Right. Okay, well, that makes sense. Well, what's he gonna do about his job? That moon is so weird looking compared to ours. Oh. <laughs> I guess they have weird weather. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of get what's going on, though, right? In a, to an extent. Or no? Like, mm, I feel like you need to watch he's, a like, more. superior or something. This ain't that movie where he's God, right? I think there's like Bruce Almighty or something like that. You're soaked. Where have you been? I can wait. I want to get away. See some of the world. Explore. Let's get you out of these wet clothes. Hmm? Come to bed. You never see anything anyway. They always turn the camera and play music and you know, the, the wind blows in and the curtains move and you don't see anything. What? <laughs> Dog fancy, please. Dog fancy. Oh, I might as well pick one of these up while I'm at it. For the wife. She's got to have them. <laughs> oh, the, the eye magazine. <laughs> Dad? <laughs> hey! What's that? Oh, stop! Get out of the way! Stop it! You thought that homeless guy was his dad? Stop those people! Stop! Stop! stop. Oh, wow. hey, oh, but he saw his dad drown. Oh, get, get it. It doesn't sound insane at all, Truman. I see him ten times again, a hundred <laughs> different faces. <laughs> I'm telling you, if it wasn't him, it was his twin. Did dad have a brother? Truman, you know perfectly well that your father was an only child just like you. So obviously that's mom. You're just feeling bad because of what happened. But I've never blamed you, Truman. And I don't blame you now. Do you think it was like the same guy? Or is it hard to tell? <laughs> hard to tell. What are you doing down here? <laughs> he just starts acting like he's fixing a lawnmower. Fixing the mower. Saw my father today. I know. Your mother called. I made macaroni. I'm not hungry. How dare you? Know, you? We really ought to throw out that mower. Get one of those new elk rotaries. <laughs> what? So he has like a whole man cave downstairs where he keeps his like wood Kid and toys. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and a compass. What's he doing? See, they got rid of her, but they couldn't erase them. the memory of who? Hey, hey, shh, 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 shh. What? They're watching him? It's been on for. That's the number of days yeah. it's been. So that's not the days he's been happy. That's what I genuinely was thinking. <laughs> what the? Oh! Ow! Whoa! Oh, oh, whoa! Oh, oh, okay. Excuse me. All right. Hi. Hi. I'm so sorry. I fell on you like that. It's okay. <laughs> I've, just, I've been such a klutz all day. I just all right. Tried to spray this ankle. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, this is a flashback because that's his wife, right? right? Don't worry about it. I'm Meryl. Hi, I'm My name's Meryl. Truman. What is this dance? <laughs> this is the weirdest thing, babe. I don't really like.
I don't know if I love reacting to a movie I've seen because I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's right. hard. I mean, I kind of am getting that they're watching him. I just don't really know how. <laughs> like, I don't see cameras. All I would say is just pay attention to all the details. I noticed, like, the, the wife or the, that lady always is talking about some different, like, appliances. Maybe she doesn't, and that's why he he's into her. She don't read the Sears catalog. Yeah. We're we'll talking about the Sears and Robux. And Shawshank Redemption. He said Sears and Roebuck. And I was like, what is that? Talking about the Roebuck part. And people thought I didn't know what Sears was. Right. <laughs> Sears was alive when we were alive. I think it's alive now, is it not? Mm, I don't know. Is it completely <laughs> gone? Oh, they have like little tiny ones at the mall. Does that even know? No, I gotta commit this to memory. Better person than I am. I'll see you later. Okay. Bye. Bye. See you later. Is that his new little girlfriend? Ow! Shh! His wife? Yeah. Yeah. And she sent him off with his buddy. <laughs> <laughs> He's not into her that much, is he? Yeah, he likes old turquoise bracelet. He's like, howdy, neighbor. <laughs> 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 That's so creepy. If I was studying, I'd be like, um, excuse me. Do <laughs> you know what I'm talking about when I say that? Excuse me, do? Tim, the tool man, Taylor, or tool time, or whatever. Home improvement. That's what it was called back in the day. Right. Can she like not talk? Oh, there we go. Would you want to maybe possibly sometime go out for some pizza or something? now if we don't go now it won't happen do you understand he's like my type of lady <laughs> let's go i'm just confused by her she's making me feel very uneasy because look she's looking like like stressed just so you guys know since i've seen this before my eyes are basically on the details not really but i can't commentate on those and point them out <laughs> somebody would jump out get out them sand dunes just keep your hands inside the car <laughs> <laughs> That's how I am at the beach, though. I like to run up to it and just scream. Because <laughs> no one can hear me. It's great. I love the beach. This is my favorite pizza place. <laughs> Tony! One large extra plankton. <laughs> <laughs> we got a little time. They're going to be here any minute. Who are? They don't want me talking to you. They. Then don't talk. Truman don't listen, does he? Mm -mm. My boy about that action. Get in there, boy. Why is he just, like, kissing this girl he doesn't know? Don't he have a wife, girlfriend thing? No, she sent him off with the buddy. <laughs> They're here. Truman, everybody knows about it. Everybody knows everything you do. My, my name's not Lauren, it's Sophia. My name's Sophia. Oh, yeah. that's Lauren, the name she, he was calling her out. again. Who are you? I'm her father. What? He's it's, lying. Honey, please. Truman, please, it's a set. It's I don't a please. show. Everybody's You'll be watching all right. you. Please don't please. listen to him. Uh, He's going to uh, lie to you. I really would like to know what's going on. She has please. episodes. Get, what? Oh, no. We tried everything. Hypnotism, no, everything. Don't shock listen to therapy. him, Truman. Don't worry. You're not the first. You're not the first. Truman. She brings all her boyfriends what? down here. What's he oh, saying? Wow. Truman, he's lying. Get out of here. Come on, find Don't me. worry. We're going I'll to see Fiji. You in school. Fiji. We're moving to no, Fiji. No Fiji. Oh, that's why he's so hung up on that. What do you do if she's sitting there saying, I don't even know this dude? He's like, I'm her father. She's crazy. Sylvia! Right. That's a weird spot to be hey! in. Right? Yeah. Wow. Because if she's telling the truth, then that's nuts for him. Sal, we've already got this in the greatest hits tape. Can I borrow that? I feel like he doesn't know that he's in the show. Can I tell you what Sirius is? Sirius Minor? What? It's a star. A star. Dang. He would rather look at that. <laughs> what the? Do you get what he's trying to do? Make a Sylvia Lauren. Mm -hmm. He's trying to recreate that girl in his head. So he can remember what she looks like. Close, no cigar. I don't know if that's sweet or obsessive. Well, he's married to a walking advertisement, so. So she sees him thinking about her. And that's it's crazy. Another beautiful day in paradise, folks. But don't forget to buckle up out there in Radio Land. Remember, good driver. Good, 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 So if good if he kind of gets the hunch, people come in and clean it up, just like. Just now like, you're getting it. Are you starting to get it? Yeah, because that's what those advertisements are. That makes sense. It's kind of like Hunger Games. Okay, he's making his turn onto Lancaster Square. His radio messed up. He kicked his radio. Something's wrong. Uh, change frequencies. Wow, so they all have a headphone in. Remember safety. Good driver's a safe driver. Safe driver is what? Yes. 
Oh my God, in response to his dad, seeing his dad. Wow. So I guess it was like homeless in there and he infiltrated maybe? So they're like, no, nah, we're just gonna get rid of that idea. Yeah. <laughs> wow, them cameras are everywhere then. You see what he's doing? Thinking people are watching him? Well, this is his moment of, I feel like this is his like Eureka. He's he's finally starting to look at things. You see him? He's just so confused at everything. Like, what the hell? Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> what the? Get him, Truman. 10,000 uh, days oh, has to be yeah, like his um, life I almost, right? That, uh, Gable Enterprise. They went bust. <gasps> Just tell me what's happening. Grab the bosa. We're remodeling. Oh, yeah. What's happening right now? What's happening right now? What's happening right now? Don't tell me what's happening. I'll report you! Changing the variables. Harley! Truman, what are you doing here? It's a bad time, okay? I'm way behind. I got into something, Marlon. Something big. You okay? You look like shit. I think I'm mixed up in something. Mixed up in what? There's no point trying to explain it, but a lot of strange things have been happening. You like this camera shot? People yeah. On the elevator, there was no, there was no backing on it. I, I looked out, there was people there. You know what I mean? Now, Truman, look, this is one of your fantasies. Anything happen? <laughs> mm-hmm. We gotta get out of here. Go. No, I just can't. Come man. on, come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna get both their asses fired, you know that. <laughs> okay, man, let's do it. What? <laughs> Whatever you say, I'm game. What? What are you talking about? Yes, Siri. Your birthday comes but once a year. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, Marlon has Maybe to be in on it, though. You ever think about that, Marlon? Like your whole life has been building towards something? Mm, no. Marlon's like a dumbass. When you were friend. hauling chickens in the summer for Kaiser. What was the furthest you ever got off the island? Went all over. Kai, he, so he does I'm all the advertising. Like <laughs> Just between you and me, Marlon, I'm going away for a while. Really? Yeah. Little angel. Oh, <laughs> carrot top. That base. Oh. oh. We should be getting well, they're reinforcing oh, hold on a minute. <laughs> Here's us at Mount Rushmore. Do you remember Truman when Dad was still with us? That was quite <laughs> You slept the whole way there. It looks so small. Well, things always <laughs> do when you look back. Oh, look, Truman. <laughs> That's why she's doing Happiest day of our lives. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. I would like to hold a grandchild in my arms before <laughs> I go. <laughs> Angela, we really should be getting you home. I'll take her. No, 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 no. You stay, it's relax, okay. enjoy yourself. Your favorite show will be coming on. Sure. Besides, we like, have How perfect is she, discuss. right? Right. Tonight, we present the enduring, much-loved classic, Show Me the Way to Go Home, a hymn of praise to small town life where we learn that you don't have to leave home to discover what the world's all about and that no one is poor who has friends let's join the abbots in camden village wait who were those kids <laughs> you see it what she's like this <laughs> i need to talk to you let's go outside oh i'd love to but i'm really late what's your rush surgery there was that, that elevator disaster downtown. It was on the news last night. Wish me luck. I'll cross my fingers for you. So they are watching him try to figure it out too. They're trying to keep the charade up. But the I don't people know if you are noticed, watching but... him. The people that watch the show every day are watching him trying to figure it out. Yeah, there's hidden cameras everywhere. So they don't really want him to figure it out though. Unless or they do. Well, the girl, you missed the detail, but everyone has a pin on their shirt. It's like a pin they sell. It's called, how will it end? Yes, I'm uh, looking for my wife, Nurse Burbank. It's very important. You know what? I'm afraid that that's, um, that's not possible. She's in pre-op. Can you tell her I had to go to Fiji? And then I'll call her when I get there. When you get to Fiji? You got it. Fine, I will, um, I'll, I'll tell her. <laughs> Say you got it. <laughs> <laughs> She's running. <laughs> they tried. They were trying to stop him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dang! I'm now making my 
primary incision just above the right knee. <laughs> Nicely done. This isn't going to be pretty unless your family oh, good. It's just beautiful. Okay. Beautiful job. <laughs> I'll just let someone else tidy up here. Uh, terrorist Charlie. disease, wild animals, and street gangs. <laughs> it could happen to you. Oh my god, all this propaganda so he doesn't leave. <laughs> I'm sorry to keep you. Oh, it's okay. The best vacation you can take is a cruise. How can I help? I would like to book a flight to Fiji. Oh, she just got her makeup done? When That's why she had that thing? Oh, I guess. I didn't even catch that. Today. I'm sorry, I don't have anything for at least a month. A month? It's the busy season. Make other arrangements. Last call for Chicago! Oh, he's like, I am not sailing. The guy's Thank taking you. forever. <laughs> yeah, he ain't sailing. Hey, Mom, is it that? You know where's the front? That'd be the hard part, keeping kids involved. <laughs> Look at everyone just chilling. Oh. Everybody off. We've got a problem. They're ready, boy. Poor Truman. I'm sorry, son. Oh. How'd you read that? Like, he kind of feels bad. <laughs> He's yeah. not going to Chicago. He's not going anywhere. He has to have it out with Meryl. You see his trash can? Mm -hmm. Truman? He's in the shot, boy. You see him? Mm -hmm. Honey, are you okay? Get in. What? Shh. What? I predict in just a moment we will see a lady on a red bike, followed by a man with flowers and a Volkswagen Beetle with a dented fender. Truman, please. Look. Oh, wow. Lady, flowers, and... Um, I mean, this is silly. There it is! There it is! There's the dented beetle! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> you really got to figure it out, bud. Don't you want to know how I did that? I'll tell you. They're on a loop. They go around the block. They come back. They go around again. They just go around and around. <laughs> You know, I invited Rita and Marlon for a barbecue on Sunday. I'm going to make my here, potato Sunday. salad, <laughs> and I need you to remind me that we need more charcoal. Are you listening to a word I'm saying? She's a scary wife. You're <laughs> upset because you want to go to Fiji, is that it? Here comes a gaslighting. <laughs> okay, okay, go. You happy now? I'm going to go take a shower. Oh. Let's go now. I'm ready to go now. Why what? wait? Early bird gathers no moss. Rolling stone catches the worm, right? <laughs> <laughs> Dang, he's obsessed with me, dude. <laughs> but maybe I would be too if I was him. Where shall we go? Where Could you imagine go? how? Oh. This is just like incredibly Truman, sadistic, right? I mean, Somebody help me! I would think that would make the show more interesting, though, if he's being like this. Can't very well drive to Fiji, can we? <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> what about Atlantic City? Truman, I think I'm gonna throw up. Me too. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Traffic. <laughs> Locked at every turn. Beautifully synchronized, don't you agree? You're blaming me for the traffic? Should I? She's a good actor, though, isn't she? Truman, let's go home. You're right. Let's go back. I'm sorry. I don't know what got into me. Can you please slow down? I changed my mind. What's New Orleans like this time of year? Mardi Gras! <laughs> you want to destroy yourself, you do it on your own. I think I'd like a little comfort. Oh, Truman. You knew this would happen. Dang, he's that scared. Can't drive over water. Come here, hand. Sweetie. Drive. Truman! That's crazy. <laughs> I forgot about this part. Oh my god. Please don't break. She's a terrible driver, right? Oh. Oh. Maybe she hasn't had to in a while because it's Truman. Run for the bridge. Run for the bridge. Run for the bridge. Wow. Forest fire warning. Extreme danger. We're fine. You're exaggerating. We'll be fine. Exaggerating? What? Do you believe that? What? Okay. We're on fire. It's okay. We're on fire. It's okay. It's just fine. You want to do it again? No. <laughs> so, what are we gonna do for money when we get to New Orleans? <laughs> I have my Sea Haven bank card. So, what? We're just gonna eat into our savings? Is that it? You know, I'm gonna have to call your mother when we get there. She's gonna be worried sick. <laughs> I don't know how she's gonna take this. What now? <laughs> a power, nuclear power station. Truman, looks like a leak at the plant. Back up! Back up! Leak at the plant. 
They had to shut her down. Is there any way around? Whole air is being evacuated. Thank you for your help. You're welcome, Truman. Oh my god. Oh my god. Truman! Brain baby. Oh no. <laughs> it's serious to get him. I don't think in real life they'd risk their lives like this over you though. They just let you run in. Oh. <laughs> Stay away! They're about to throw a net on him? No! Thank you both so much for your help. I really appreciate it. Wow. I'm lucky to be alive, man. Next time we're going to have to file charges. I understand. Thanks again. Good night. He said one last peek. <laughs> you see that? Why don't you let me fix you some of this new mo cocoa drink? All natural cocoa beans from the upper slopes of Mount Nicaragua. No artificial sweeteners. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Who are you talking to? I've tasted other cocos. This is the best. <laughs> what the heck? You're part of this, aren't you? Ruin <laughs> Meryl! You are scaring me! You're scaring me, Meryl. What are you gonna do? Dice me? There's so many choices! No! Do something! What? Oh. What did you say? Who are you talking to? Nothing, I didn't say anything. <gasps> no, I didn't talk. I wasn't talking to anybody. No. Truman, talk to me! This is crazy. Look at how this is. is. Truman? Truman. Oh, thank God. Maybe they're together for real. Is. To carry on under these conditions, it's unprofessional. Shh, it's okay. Aw, she's maybe all. Everything's gonna be okay. Oh, I think I misread that. It's all gonna be fine. I don't know what to think, Marlon. Maybe I'm losing my mind, but it feels like the whole world revolves around me somehow. It's a lot of world for one man, Truman. He always has that little one liner. Sure, that's not yeah. thinking. Remember that time I stayed up with you all night in your tent because you wanted to play North Pole and I got pneumonia? You were at school for about a month. Aww. You don't want to believe it, so you, you look for answers somewhere else, but... Well, but, well, the point is, gladly walk in front of traffic for you. He said his name was Kristoff. The point is, I would gladly step in front of traffic for you, Truman. He told him to say that Kristoff told him to... The last thing I'd ever do is lie to you. And the last thing that I would ever do is lie to you. Damn. So he is the director. I thought he had a director look to him, but that's the director of the Truman Show. If everybody is in on it. I'd have to be in on it too. <gasps> you are. You were right about one thing though. That you started all this. Yep. I found him for you, Truman. So I came by tonight. Sure, he's got quite a story to tell. Go to him. Easy on the fog. Stand by Crane Cam. Crane Cam. Button Cam Three. I never stop. Oh, they have a Truman. <laughs> Curb can eat. My son. Oh. Move him for closer. No, 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 no. Fade up music. Years wasted. I'll make it up to the side. I swear. Oh. Dad. They're distracting him. Yes! Basically, yeah, they're trying to use his, they're trying to capture his psychosis in a way that's going to benefit the show. So yeah, Aww. distract him up. <laughs> and people eat it up like it's real. Back, we'll win the ratings period. Love him, protect him. Well done, everyone. Congratulations. One day in the future, guys, everything's going to be free. The internet's going to be free, but you're going to have to, you're going to have to be willing to have advertisements for his popping birth. up on your walls. <gasps> 220 mm. countries tuned in for his first step. An entire human life recorded on an intricate network of hidden cameras and broadcast wow. live and unedited 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to an audience around the globe. Coming to you now from Sea Haven Island, enclosed in the largest studio Spoiler ever constructed, guy. and along with the Great Wall of China, one of only two man-made structures visible from wow. space. Now, in its 30th great year, it's the Truman Show! Dang, that's him right now? What a week it's been. I don't know about you. Yeah, they're just showing him 24 hours the entire time. So, come with us now as we go live to the Lunar Room on the 221st floor of the Omnicam Ecosphere. That's where we'll find the world's greatest televisionary, the designer and architect of the Poor world guy. within a world Crazy, that is Sea Haven Island, Crystal. Surrounded by water, you see that? We all know how jealously you guard your privacy. This, sir, is indeed an honor. How jealously Don't you guard it. your privacy. <laughs> well, the catalyst for the recent dramatic events on the show has been, of course, Truman's father, Kirk, and his attempts to 
infiltrate the show. But before we get into that, this is not the first time that someone from the outside has attempted to reach Truman, is it? We have had our close calls in the past. Truman! Oh. It's television! <laughs> yes! Good. Yes! I did it! <laughs> Why would people break on those sports the sports so. Yeah. Someone. Security, the, the first intruder to be a former cast member. Since Kirk started this whole crisis in Truman's life, I came to the conclusion that he was the only one who could end it. Truman, no! That's off limits! Why? What's over there? Nothing. It's dangerous, that's all. <laughs> You've got to know your limitations, Truman. But let's remind viewers of exactly why <laughs> that was written out in the first place. They intentionally grew up, as we were forced <laughs> to manufacture ways to keep him on the island. I like to be an explorer, like the Great Magellan. Oh, you're too late. There's really <laughs> nothing left to explore. <laughs> Finally, I came up with a concept of Kirk's drowning. Oh Truman's been terrified of the water ever since. When Kirk read the synopsis wow, for so the Death at Sea that. episode, he was disappointed, to say the least, and I'm sure that's what caused him to break back onto the set. But how do you intend to explain his 22-year absence? Amnesia. <laughs> Brilliant. Let's take some of those viewer phone calls. Charlotte, North Carolina, you're on with Kristoff. Uh, yeah, uh, hi, Kristoff. Uh, I was just wondering how many cameras you got there in that town. Somewhere in the vicinity of 5,000. Oh, wow. That's a lot of cameras. Remember, we started with just one. He was uh, curious from birth. He premature by two weeks in competition with five other unwanted pregnancies. The casting of a show determined by an air date. Truman was the one who arrived on cue. Wow. Incidentally, uh, I believe Truman is the first child to have been legally adopted by a corporation. That's correct. The wow. show uh, has generated enormous revenues now equivalent to the gross national product of uh, a small country. Uh, all those staggering revenues are generated by product placement. That's true. You Everything see that? On the show is mm -hmm. for sale. That's crazy. The actors' wardrobe, food products, to the very homes they live in. And uh, of course, that's why available those old ladies had on the same Apple outfit as Wendy Bird. Are standing by. Christoph, let me ask you: Why do you think that uh, Truman has never come close to discovering the true nature of his world until now? We accept the reality of the world with which we're presented. The Hague. For Christoph, hello. Hi, Christoph. I'd just like to say one thing. You're a liar and a manipulator, and what you've done to Truman is sick. Well, we remember this voice. How could we forget? Uh, let's go to another call. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's fine. It, it's fine, Mike. I love to reminisce with former members of the cast. Sylvia, called out. You announced so melodramatically to the world. You think because you batted your eyes at Truman once, flirted with him, stole a few minutes of airtime with him to thrust yourself and your politics into the limelight, <laughs> that you don't you ever feel guilty? I have given Truman the chance to lead a normal life. The world, the place you live in. Is the sick place. That's not an argument, bro. <laughs> he could leave at any time. If his was more than just a vague ambition, if he was absolutely determined to discover the truth, there's no way we could prevent him. They said he's just half what trying to go. He could really, really go you. if he wanted to. Yeah, because you can't hide the truth. You can't hide it. You're so wrong, and he'll prove you wrong. Well, aside from uh, heated comments of a very vocal minority, it's been an overwhelmingly positive experience. The only reason they get along, the only reason he gets away with it is because the media is on his side. You see that? You see how the media is just agging it on. Mm -hmm. The big news is that Meryl will be leaving Truman in an upcoming episode and a new romantic interest will be introduced. She's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he fell asleep watching it. Yeah, he's a big fan. Oh, so they sleep when Truman does. <laughs> Don't you think you could really become like attached to someone if they did that, though? Dang, he feels like that's his baby, his corporate baby. Yeah, because it's made him tons of money, obviously. Hey, Simeon. Is he looking at us? Jesus, do you think he knows? Hello? Better call Kristoff. Hello? Come in, Major Burbank. <laughs> oh. <laughs> His old self. Oh my god. <laughs> He's trying to act like an astronaut? An usual cat. Not exactly. <laughs> On the surface, he is. I hereby proclaim this planet Trumania of the Burbank Galaxy. Hmm. Okay. Gonna go? All way camera uh, ready. That one's for free. Keep up with them because they're gonna move fast. That one's for free. Right. Stand by all house cameras. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Do you, why do you think oh, he's in acting normal? Oh, in case I don't see you. Good afternoon. Good evening and good night. <laughs> um. So he can like freak out. Yeah, he wants to lull them back to complacency. Oh, hey, Pluto. Whoop, 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 whoop. Good, good morning, Oh, look who's here. Oh. Beautiful day, isn't it? <laughs> I know. Yeah. See you guys. Okay. <laughs> Bye now. See you Bye -bye. next week. Bye -bye. Give me something to look forward to. Will do. Got it. <laughs> See, this isn't about insurance. 
This is about the great variable. When will death occur? It could be a week, a month, a year. It could be today. <laughs> oh, sorry, excuse me. Uh, Truman, this is Vivian. Vivian, this is Truman. Two of your <laughs> neighbors. What type of lawnmower is that? I know. It's like a little Lambo or something. So they're in the moon right now? Go to two. They're the overseers. They're the great eye like Sauron, the all C and I. What's he doing in the basement? He moved down there after Meryl packed up and left. Why well, wasn't I told? Any unpredictable behavior has to be reported. What's on the clock, Ham? It's an obstruction. Obstruction. What happened down there? Send over Jehovah's just Witness. Just tidying up his garbage. I was going to call you, but halfway through, he gave up and he fell asleep. Isolate the audio. Give me a close-up on his torso. He's asleep. There! Stop it. Fine. Zoom in. Enhance it. Is it? Uh, I if he couldn't have gone up the stairs, I def he, he must still be Get on the Marlin road. Get Marlon over there right away. Uh oh, there's stairs. Yeah, now they gotta send Marlon over. <laughs> that was the first truck I ever had right there. <laughs> Mine was a 1990. Surprise party! Whew. Surprise party! <laughs> Come on, buddy! <laughs> Hell no! <laughs> we got a six pack of cold brews. Like with our name on them. Come on, pal! Come on, buddy! A snoring snowman? Shit. Marlin, find him. He's still on the drone. Come out, come out, wherever you are. That's good. Keep it light. <laughs> Keep it light. <laughs> I know you're in here. I'm gonna find you. I wonder where he could possibly be. You're busted, buddy. Oh. That's like Shawshank Redemption. Long camp. Give me the long camp. Oh, my. Don't look in the camera. Say something. Keep it going. Mm -hmm. Keep it going. He's gone. Oh. Cut transmission. Cut transmission? Man. Cut it! Oh, shoot. Oh, 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 Jesus, he is yes, for real. What the hell? Oh, oh these people are going to be like, what? Give me my phone. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Don't knock me if I'm up. Even if I'm up. You hear people speaking Mandarin? <laughs> <major. laughs> it affected the whole world. He has the world's most recognizable face. He can't disappear. Oh, my God. It's like a searchlight. <laughs> Was that insane or what? Yeah. At this point, the gig is up. They just need to find them. Look at them. All these actors. If you could just hear my voice, Truman! You might hate you. Let me try. Truman! <laughs> Let me try. It's me! Dad! Let's talk! <laughs> Gotta go back to Brianmore. Check the interiors. Gotta be in there. Very more, huh? What the heck? Where did he go? Take another man and get what? down there this now, what? all right? I don't give okay. a damn. Just find the son of a bitch. Well, get <laughs> some batteries. This guy's not going to glow in the dark. Let's get him down here. They love him as long as he's falling alone, but the minute he causes an enemy, he's, he's, he's a son, son of a bitch, yeah. yeah. What time is it? It's way too early for that. Cue the sun. No way. I forgot they did that. Oh, they didn't so they can find him. him. You know that there's rumors circulating that he's dead? Is there a technical error? The media is having a feeling yes. frenzy with this. Most All the phone lines like are jammed. Sponsors are threatening to rip up their contracts. Why? We're getting higher ratings with this graphic than we've ever had on this show. <laughs> <laughs> no sign of him. Everyone's at first positions, right? Maybe it'd be interesting to watch <laughs> them look for him. He's got the light. So he's got to be there somewhere. It's What's that little French hat called? We're not watching this. Toupee? No, that's what like, that's old men put on the head. But Truman, where are you going? Oh. How can he sail? He's an insurance. Is he terrified of the water? Resume transmission. How can he sail? He's an insurance. <laughs> <laughs> that man's gonna be pruny. Just leave him in the car. Shh, they're way too interested. Is <laughs> that evil representing pruny? But isn't he in the dome? <laughs> Where is he gonna go? Let's get off this mask, shot. We can't see his face. There, perfect. Dang, it kind of does close, look like yeah. her. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, she's about to be famous as hell. She's still living. Let's get another boat out there. Come on, get it moving. Get it out of here. Come on. I'm using the bus driver. Bottom line is they can't <laughs> drive the boat. They're actors. 
<laughs> True. How do we stop them? We're going to be accessing the weather program now. So hold on to your hats. Oh. You got that? No. I think we're going to want to localize a storm over the boat. You can get the coordinates for that. There's no rescue boat. He won't know what to do. He'll turn back. He'll be too afraid. There she blows. They're so jacked up. He's all peaceful, sailing away, and now they're just gonna make it like a those wave pools, basically. Basically, yeah. This reminds me of that Lieutenant Dan scene. Oh, no. I bring it on. <laughs> but Lieutenant Dan is hey, what's the bad. <laughs> what if he gets knocked out? Give me some light. Again. Hit him again. Oh my God. God's sake, Chris. The whole world is watching. We can't let him die in front of a live audience. He was born in front of a live audience. Persevere. You can do it. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> what the heck, man? That's like your son, kind of. Yeah, in a way, kind of, right? Is that the best you can do? You're gonna have to kill me! Oh, they got Rose's the studio. Then. Increase the wind. He's gonna drown. He doesn't even care. Do it. Oh no! Dead wrong for that. Crazy, ain't it? He really wants that finale. Did it not work? Did it work? I was about to say, I thought he was holding on for Fiji. I know I've seen it. It's just been a while. I don't remember every detail. That's enough. What the heck? I don't know how they made the boat tilt back over there. That's some crazy technology. Nah, no, he's still kicking. <laughs> right, where does it go from here? Just kept on trucking, baby. I didn't realize that little oar, or whatever the heck you call it, was so small. What you mean? Or, you mean the mast? Is that oh. what it's called? The mast of the boat? No, this is the mast. <laughs> he ran into the dome. Breakthrough. It's all plaster, baby. Right, he probably could have been walking in that water. No, nah, I'm sure they at least made it like 10 foot. That'd be insane, though, dude. Are they just gonna watch him do this part? As are they filming it? Everything's filmed. You know, if the universe had an end to it, you know what I mean. Like, we'll never really know because the universe expands faster than the speed of light. Therefore, we can never see past, like, you know, the known universe. And if we were in some type of like artificial structure, that'd be really convenient. Right. To just never be able to reach the end because they expand any faster than the speed of light. Look at him walking in that emergency exit. That's crazy. I want to talk to him. He's probably like, what am I, what's even going to happen on the other side of the storm? Right. Truman, you can speak. I can hear you. <laughs> it's God. Right. <laughs> Who are you? I am the creator of a television show that gives hope and joy and inspiration to millions. Still trying to control the narrative. <laughs> right. I know you better than you know yourself. You never had a camera in my head. Afraid. That's why you can't leave. It's okay, Truman. Creepy. I understand. I have been watching you your whole life. Yikes. <laughs> I was watching when you were born. I was watching when you took your first step. I watched you on your first day of school. The episode when you lost your first tooth. <laughs> the episode. <laughs> well, say something, goddammit. You're on television. You're live to the whole world. In case I don't see ya, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he retired. All those people love Truman, love that show. Deep down, he would hate them. <laughs> like, I hate you for supporting me. Right. Yeah! Oh, they're happy for him? I would be heartbroken because you're watching that show that long. 10,000 days? All they wanted him to escape. I mean, I would have been a perfectly good character. Oh, look, look, they have that guy and his dog back right there. Show's over, boss. She's transmission. She's transmission. 
Damn. Is, is you over want now? another slice? No, I'm okay. What else is on? Yeah, let's do what else Where's is on. Where's the TV guy? <laughs> Crazy. That was the end? That's it. All right, guys. That was the Truman Show Bay. First impressions, what do you think? I think if you're looking at it from, like, putting yourself in his perspective, that is just so wrong, so creepy, so everything. It's like a huge human rights, human rights violation, isn't it? Not? Right. I feel like a it's privacy violation, all of them. Like, that guy, basically, he didn't have parents because the guy, like, adopted him. A corporation adopted him, right? Right. Oh, my gosh. If you guys think of that, like... I guess the argument was the parents didn't want him, so right. So why not? Right, he was saying like his life was better in there, and that's so crazy. But then it's which crazy. I cannot stand that argument. I hate when people try to perceive like what a baby's life would be like. Like, oh well, if their mom doesn't want, or like, if their mom doesn't want them, then their life's gonna suck. Like, you don't know that, right? You just you don't know you really don't know. That's anything. Crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it's a crazy. Thought. But but if you put yourself, I mean, I guess if you look at it like that, like sometimes I think like my life is like that sometimes. Like a movie in a way? Yeah. Like, like just, you wonder why things are so sometimes weird. Sometimes the people I come across, I'm like, sometimes they're just all the same and predictable. <laughs> so I, like, so yeah. I think sometimes like they're placed there in my life for reasons or something like that. I don't know. I mean, we could get philosophical. I mean, maybe that that's I'm saying like maybe that that's why that movie like was interesting because I've, I've had that a lot a few times in my life. Like maybe there's someone playing me as a as a video game character sometimes like silly it's silly to think you guys but i've thought about it right it's basically the story of a guy who was living in a very false reality everything things weren't right and they were obviously false and they were obviously not right but he just from the time he was a baby that's just what humans did they just advertised things mm -hmm. and guys that's coming one day one day your wallpaper and you guys are gonna think i'm crazy if you're not in like the science and stuff like that then you really should go look into this stuff but the people who are inventing this stuff, man, the brightest minds on the planet are telling you the future is going to be computer wallpapers. Your whole wall is going to be a computer is going to be basically an interface and you're going to get it for free. Everything's going to be free, but you're going to be walking through your hallway and there's going to be sponsorships popping up on your wall constantly. And that that's going to be that sucks for you because you and new technology. Well, that's the future. Out. Like our future people like us, we use our computers constantly. Our whole entire existence advertises around advertisement. Yeah. Advertisement is how we make money on YouTube, per se. Advertisement is how every platform we use is makes money. It's all about advertisements. And everything that's free is only free if you give up your 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 rights to privacy. So that way they can bombard you with advertising and they can know everything about you because they do. I mean, every time you look, go watch The Social Dilemma. You know, I mean, some of it could be propagated. I don't know. But they say that when you look at your cell phone screen, if something catches your eye and you stop, I mean, every little thing you do and AI captures it, models it, predicts your behavior and everything is basically catered to like keep you trapped in your own little Truman show in a sense. Yeah. So, but I mean, that's just the that's surface like level basic in thinking. general, right? Algorithm in general. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's the that algorithm in general. And you wonder like we're going like even on your cell phones, if you go to Google now, it's AI, it's AI, you know? Um, and I'm, for the record, I'm really bad with that kind of stuff. I was trying to like play with a, a background thing the other day and I didn't know how to work it. There's but it a lot was interesting. Of, there's a lot of debates going on. Like mm. uh, Elon Musk told Apple that if they integrate their new cell phones, if they have basically if they integrate them with generative AI or with AI, some type of AI, whatever the term is. Right. Then he basically said that he would take X off uh, off Apple cell phones. Right. Because the argument is. The, the more this AI and stuff integrates our lives, the more we're not going to know what's real. I mean, there's already videos that you genuinely cannot tell if they're real or not. And it's really scary. Right. That is pretty scary. And it's one of those things. It's like. And we have the option now. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Go on ahead, this, please. But we're we have ball. the option, you guys, on YouTube now when we post videos, we have to put if it's AI generated or not now. And you like have to do that. And I think it goes through checks, honestly. So. Yeah, but anyone could. Well, yeah, any they, smart person could bypass that check. Well, yeah, they could, know? but I'm just saying it's out there. Oh, yeah, 100%. I mean, yeah, that, that's like a new thing. It just started. So that is a thing. Yeah. And I thought it was crazy in this movie. Like uh, the star mm -hmm. fell out of the sky and it was labeled, you know, and I mean, I don't think that like the stars are fake or anything, but I'm just saying like in other like in other type of ways, you could relate this to life so much. Like there's a book called. Dang, that was like an immediate clue. I just thought about like that when you when we saw that, that was such an immediate clue about what was going on. Yeah. Well, I didn't I, expect you to. Get I it. was literally like, what is he like in a different country? Do they have like messenger drones or, or something? I don't right. know. There's this book called uh, 
1984 by George Orwell. Uh, most of you guys have probably heard of it. If you're anyone who knows anything about history or reading, if, if you're into that stuff, you probably come across mm -hmm. the book. And it's basically, this guy does a really elaborate and a really good job basically describing like a future dystopian society, right? And so many things that the book says are essentially coming true in a lot of ways, right? And there's just the theme of like Big Brother's always watching, everything you do is monitored, there's cameras everywhere. And you know, guys, if I, I can't, I could get in my car, I could drive a thousand miles, a hundred miles, they're gonna have me on camera everywhere. Right. I'm on camera leaving my neighborhood, I'm on camera every mm -hmm. every quarter mile. There's a camera. There's right. a camera Just in watch a tree. A true crime there's a camera. You'll see that. They're everywhere. Yeah. And a lot of people don't know this stuff, but everything you do is on camera. Everywhere you go, you're on camera. You think you're walking in a private neighborhood. You're on camera. These cameras are linked to clouds. And we These triple on monitored. camera because we on this camera, too. Right. And it, it just goes to show you that this is, this movie seems so much like a hoax. It's so elaborate. But you could really, in a, in, in a sense, it's more of, it's not like to be taken on its face, in my opinion. It's more of just like an example. Like, it's something to be interpreted, right? You right. could interpret it in a lot of different ways. Like, the fact that every single thing that we do now goes against any type of pr like privacy, in a sense, right? Right. And stuff like that. About the fact that we're constantly being bombarded with advertisements and stuff. Uh, that that stuff works. to things that, like, we like and stuff. Like food, especially. The average American breakfast used to be a piece of toast and coffee. That's what people ate for toast or for breakfast. And it was very common in America. And then these really smart people come in and they manipulate Americans into thinking that you got to have four eggs over medium, bacon, hash browns. Like that wasn't just. Hey, I'm not mad at them. That's not all that stuff's not just companies saying, hey, I mm -hmm. think people would like hash browns for breakfast. Like, of course, people would have liked hash browns for breakfast 100,000 years ago, but it's the psychological psyop that goes on, and there's so much of that in society. Uh, you notice in the show, the media the media is on the side of the corporation, right? Mm -hmm. Because the media, and I hate to say it, guys, but if you don't know this, the media is just a, it's an arm of the government. Well, people have to use it to run advertisements, too. That's 24 right. hours of... Well, a lot of people think the media is yeah. the media. They're reporting you the truth, and they're giving you the facts. That's just naive to me. The media is nothing more than the arm of the government, in my opinion. I just think that, you know, I used to be naive too, like Truman. Like I used to think that, like, you know, the most powerful people in our country serve the postal workers and the construction workers. And I used to think, you know, we went to war with the Middle East because they didn't have enough ice cream shops and they just wanted to be able to have a game stop. You know what I'm saying? I used to think all these dumb things because that's what they tell us. And then I realized. They're not just doing that because basically we don't control them and they control us and they're in charge of everything we do in a sense. And there's just a lot of metaphors you can make with that. So just an interesting movie. And then you can get deeper with it. Like you could get philosophical with it. You could get, you could take it to the quantum level. You can start, you can start talking about like what is reality. It brings up a lot of questions like that. You know, you could get into like Schrodinger's cat. You could get into like a uh, superposition. If you guys don't know, on the quantum level, there's something called superposition. You should really look into that stuff. And it's just, it really goes to show you that reality but is not. But what do you not, think? What do you think about that? Oh, about reality? Movie? No, about the superposition. What do you think about that in, in regards to the Truman Show? Well, I just think the whole thing <laughs> is, sorry, I, I think the whole thing is just, it goes to show you that Truman grew up and was educated and he, he was taught facts about the moon. This is how far it is. This is what we know. And then he went out and he looked at the moon and it didn't necessarily like, it wasn't adding up. It wasn't adding up in a sense, but he mm. believed it. And I just think that the question that they posed in the movie was why does, how does he not know or something like that? And the guy basically said, because he just presents the world that he's presented. Right. Like, and that's how we are, you know, it, there's a lot of people like you should check out a guy named Donald Hoffman. Like he believes that evolution took shortcuts, right? And so in order to survive and in order to basically have to not process the true nature of reality, process of the process of basically how do I word this? By evolution, we basically developed an ability to see the world not as it is, but how we need to see it in order to properly navigate it. So he's basically trying to make He's trying to make the claim that reality as we see it isn't exactly real. Like everything's basically an interface. Like if you go into a computer and you send an email, you don't really know how to do that. You know how to open up the interface, but you don't really know how to build a computer. Like every time you turn on your computer to record, I don't have to know how to rebuild a camera. You know what I'm saying? Because I wouldn't be able to do it. It's not efficient through evolution. And there's just a lot of theories like that. And I just think that you should keep an open mind to things like that because 
I think in a thousand years, we're going to look back at how we perceive true reality and just think that we had the minds of infants, you know? I really do. I think, I don't know, man. I just think the sky's the limit. You should not close your, you know, brain off stuff like that. What do you think? I feel like, <clears throat> like, for, for example, with, with internet, I know this is like silly willy, but when I was growing up, when we actually really needed to know a fact, we actually had to go on, on a computer, which we had computers, and we'd have to type them things in an encyclopedia. And I think just the ability for humans nowadays to just like know things just because of like this right here. Right. Like just the ability to hands on know that mm, might take away from the learning process. I don't know. Well, I definitely don't think we're getting smarter, <clears throat> you know, like. Right. Well, we were knowing more, but not really being smarter. I don't know how to explain that. I, I think technology net on a net level is making us dumber. I, I really do. A lot of people are going to disagree with me on that. I think that there's networks of people who build on the work of smarter people who come, you know, and obviously those people are smarter in a sense. And, but then again, like being smart, there's, it's being, you know, being smart is something that there's so many different ways to be smart. You know, like one guy can know how to absolutely work wall street and invest his whole family into richness for the rest of their lives. And then another guy can fix your lawnmower or if the power goes out, he's actually going to keep his family alive. There's right. just different ways of being smart. Right. But I'm just saying this is one of those type of movies that just makes you think like everything you think, you know, you should definitely keep an open mind. I mean, don't lie to yourself. You mm -hmm. know, there's a lot of propaganda, obviously, which was the biggest thing about this movie was the propaganda. Right. I think you yeah. can see it now more than ever, how much propaganda can completely can completely take someone and make them see the world in a way that is just absolutely insane. So right. all because of propaganda and you see it all around the world and no one can agree on what the truth is. And it's not because universal truth doesn't exist even though a lot of people disagree with that a lot of people believe in like an individual truth but i mean i do think there is a fundamental truth and no one knows what it is and can agree on it because we're all propagated in a sense right it's just a crazy movie and it was crazy because truman was essentially propagated since he was young so all the people around him he you know that guy even he had the same guy around him and he was said they were friends since they were seven years old and he said i basically thought of you as a brother because essentially he was like yeah that's like they basically planted him there, right? right? So all these people around him, how, what the heck? Like, I wish we could have got to more of the logistics of their lives. Like, were they always there? How how did they get the paid to do this if they're like have to be there twenty four well, hours? Well, I don't think, I genuinely don't think this would work in real life. I think the movie right. was a thought experiment. Mm -hmm. I think the movie, the movie was more of just a way to introduce to plant a seed into people's minds right and that's yeah. basically what it did to me so when i saw this movie last i remember seeing it a long time ago i was maybe like you know like when you're like 17 18 mm. maybe 19 somewhere around in there and this movie really just made me think like holy crap you know what i'm saying maybe things really aren't what they say they are and like i said i used to believe all the mantras that most people believe you know like uh we're just trying to spread democracy to the middle east and just all this dumb stuff right and then I got older and I just realized it was just very naive thinking. And so I just I think this movie is a reason I can say this movie is probably what piqued my interest in trying to figure out, like, what's really going on in reality. Right. You know? well, maybe that's why I would never had that interest, because I didn't watch movies like this. Right. Well, I mean, it's just fun. You know, it's all in good fun. It, it, it's a lot of stuff. I mean, everything I'm saying is hypothetical. I'm not saying I genuinely believe this. It's just all hypothetical. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, if someone tries to tell you. Well, this, that's dumb. That hypothetical is impossible. That's not what's going on. They're lying to you because the truth is, is no one really knows much of anything. You know, we can describe. We can we can. Yeah, man, nobody really knows the true nature of what's really going on. I think that's sort of the point. It's just all about what your paradox is. So our fundamental way of thinking in a thousand years is going to be seen very. I guess, immature and just small minded, I guess. You right. know what I mean? But so. how crazy would that be if you were in your own Truman Show? And like, for example, you were planted in my life to do this right here. <laughs> like, well, that would suck. The the I think the most appealing. So there's like true nature and there's true reality, right? Which is everything's completely physical. And then there's the idea that maybe it's like a giant simulation in a sense. And when people say simulation, people check out because they're thinking that there's some nerds playing a video game somewhere and we're the video game characters, but I'm not, I'm not talking about that. I'm just saying if the universe was created, right. It would obviously, there would be some bounds of its creation, right? So if it was created, like say we're the only people, right? We're the pinnacle of existence so far. We haven't found aliens. What's the pinnacle of creation? It's a computer. Is it not? I mean, that's the most impressive thing. A computer is given birth to AI. AI will eventually 
be the leading intelligence in the universe over humans. Maybe it's just all designed to be that way. Who knows? But maybe reality is more like Fortnite. Maybe we're all just plugged into a headset and we're all just here in life. But in true reality, you're not actually here. Everything you see is just a representation created through consciousness. You know what I mean? And so maybe when you go to sleep, that's maybe when your headset gets patch updates or maybe new things update, maybe something, a war is coming or something and there's all these updates that need to happen. So everyone's headset starts getting updates. And when you go to, maybe that's why you got to go to sleep. Google, why do humans sleep? Obviously there's a lot of things that we know that happens during sleep. There's a lot of like regenerative things that happen with your body and stuff. And there's a lot of good things that happen, but get down to the philosophical of, mm. well, why does that actually have to happen? Because in, in like we have very unique sleep patterns compared to other mammals and stuff, right? So why does it have to be that way? Or why do we have to sleep at all? And when you start asking those questions, it's just weird. It's just fun. That's all. It's just fun. Yeah, it is fun thinking. Fun to think about. I really enjoyed that movie. I can't believe that I never seen it. And I can't believe I never even really heard of it, to be honest. Right. So, I mean, it was interesting. I guess you classify in the, the, in the sci-fi category, maybe. Or com it said comedy well, slash sci-fi. But to me, I took it more as a sci-fi because it wasn't really comedic to me. Well, it wasn't really... Not necessarily. I don't know. It's kind of sci-fi, I guess, in a sense. But I think it's just something. It's just something that it just seems like a core concept, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. It seems like if you're experiencing the human condition and if you're experiencing consciousness and if you're using logic, it just seems like eventually in our timeline, someone would have came up with the concept of the Truman Show. It doesn't really seem like it's something that was a very just unique invention. It seemed like it just sort of always existed, these concepts, you know, and I guess maybe like all the great works of art and, you know, media and stuff like that are all just in a sense concepts that just seem to say something about the human condition i guess and human nature and i guess it's human nature to want to like control people and you know in that guy's mind it was all about the ratings and mm -hmm. the show and you know if that's you know he can you can have all the money in the world but there's things that exceed the physical like people need purpose and drive and maybe that guy's right. whole drive he was willing to build this whole fake thing because he just wanted the power over someone or he just liked the status it's just it's very weird. It's weird how humans work and it's just interesting stuff. So uh, I don't really know what else to say about it, man. It just really makes you it just got me into questioning a lot of stuff. And I just think it's fun. And, and it came out in 98, right? Uh, Was it 98? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, I thought because I thought it was cool when he said that they had started out with one camera and as technology progressed, they kept going. What if they made like a, another Truman show with like even more up to date technology as we have now? Yeah. Like that would be kind of interesting and kind of cool. <laughs> Well, all I know, man, is the more this VR stuff advances, the more AI advances and stuff, guys, I'm telling you, man, like w we like to think that the adults in the room are going to set regulations and do all this and stuff. But, bro, we can't even agree on who the adults are genuinely. So it's just a really scary prospect, man. It's, it's going to be crazy. But it's the, like Ultron is going to keep getting smarter and smarter within its smartness. Well, the idea is, you know, our species has been around for over 100,000 years, right? Not necessarily just our species, but humanoids so whatever whatever you want to call them cave people whatever Th these people have been around for hundreds of thousands of years and we've all just been hunting and gathering and then all of a sudden in the blink of an eye we went from you know world war one to now we can live stream around the world you know what i mean like it's just it's insane like uh you know if you ever see like the iron dome defense system in um uh israel it's like star wars genuinely like it's insane so who knows man so the idea is eventually we're not going to be able to distinguish reality from non-reality and maybe we're already in that reality and maybe we're just perceiving reality but in reality it's not exactly reality it is not base reality it is a reality on top of base reality and i don't know man maybe i don't know the purpose of it i don't know but who knows but our lifetime is so weird though babe our age it's so weird like because when we were younger we had dial up and like now it's like so advanced compared to that like in a short amount of time i felt well, but maybe not a short amount of time because it has been like what 30 years maybe it's not been that short it has been short. but it's felt short if you to think me. cosmically like if you think about how long dinosaurs roam the earth and if you right. think about how long our species have been here we are we we are the luckiest the luckiest humans to ever exist we the chances of us existing at this point the chances of us existing at this point in time are significantly higher than than earth seeding life to begin with which was you know or the universe coming to be like it's so incredibly rare and like i and it's so dumb like obviously i believe in the past so don't take me dumb right but 
how do you know the past exists? How do you know that yesterday you didn't just wake up and you're just programmed with all the stuff you needed to be to know caught to be up with reality? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, how do you know when you go to sleep, you're not just you're not defragging your mind. You're not getting rid of old files. Why do you lose your memories? Why do you keep some? Why do you lose some? Like, it's just very weird. I, that's all I'm saying. And it's just humans just we're no closer to understanding true reality than we've ever been. Like we can measure things and understand the mathematical and we can predict things. But I don't know, man, unless we get outside of this outside of this universe i just don't think we'll ever know what do so. you guys think about all this kind of stuff it's just interesting that's all i just want to know what y'all think because that's what we think so what do you guys think i think it's right. cool to have thoughts and definitely thoughts that well, are I've different wondered, like, i love why, different thoughts why do some people for <clears throat> thousands and thousands and thousands of years why have some people been willing to go to their go to their graves looking at their kids in the eyes and swearing them that they saw their so-and-so after they died and there's ghosts and there's all this. And then other people look for it and their perceived reality is those people are nuts. Like right. why are people, why are people living in two different realities? Like why, are, why are we so divided as a people? And it's not like we're divided because everyone has such a genuine, great idea. That's not what it is. Like and it's everyone's not the repeating opioids slogans. Or nothing, you know? Everyone repeats slogans. Everyone's divided and the stuff we're arguing about is genuinely nonsense. It's a distraction. It's going to help no one. And it's just some people are just programmed to be one way and some people are programmed to be another way. And it's like, why? Like, why is it that you can sometimes look at someone and just know what their opinions about something are going to be? Yeah. Like, why is it that way? You know, and it just and, and then there's going to be a lot of social scientists who say, oh, it's social conformity. And, 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 I, and I understand all those things, but I'm talking about just. Why, are, why do people perceive reality so differently? You know, right. like, you know, we look out, we see a two dimensional presentation, we perceive it, our consciousness renders it, we render depths, our brain perceives all that. What we're seeing is not true reality. It's it's a where we, you look, you scan, it processes, it goes through filters, and then your brain perceives it. You're not really seeing it in a sense. You know, you can only see so much color, so much light. There's ultraviolet, there's uv uh, which is ultraviolet uh infrared lighting uh you can't perceive any of that you can feel there's it, other though. dimensions you can feel you that can't perceive there's there's just a lot of questions man and i think that as people we've really really gotten complacent like like humans created the atomic bomb and now we know everything like we just think we know everything there is to know uh can't tell us nothing we understand everything and i just think that's a very i think one day we're going to look back and be shocked at how much we don't know is all i'm saying just like truman did in the show so yeah, it was just a fun conversation. <laughs> hey, man. did he retire and then? Is that what he basically said? He said, "I'm out." In my mind, they killed him like, because he the don't lawsuits. have he don't have no social security card, nothing. Like, what's he about to do? Um, he better be profiting off that show that they made of his life. <laughs> I know what man. The the thing about the Truman Show, what's crazy is you can make a whole other movie about the ramifications and make it just yeah. as political and interesting. So, right, cool. I would have been cool to see like that girl and her team like trying to fight for fruit. Um, Truman's rights and stuff like that would have been cool to see like where their stance on that other than that she was in love with them but you know right. just like their real stance on it yeah some people swear like there's groups of people man and there's there's documents of like there'll be 10 people six people will say they saw a UFO and four people will be like I, I didn't see anything or it was how a could drone. that be or if, it was a drone if true reality is there and and you just take them at their word for it let's just let's just give them the benefit of the doubt. Let's say they're all being honest. They're all honest players in this game. No one has deceitful intentions. Six people, or let's just say four people see a UFO, six people don't. How can that be? If if reality is true, if reality is consistent and true, if it's base reality, if we're not all just perceiving a fake reality through a perceived mutual linked headset, how could that be? Maybe it's because in 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 four people's headset it's there, and in six people's it's not. Is that you like the blue white dress thing? Or where Yanni people, Yanni. Where people saw that, where people seen that, and it was supposed to be white. It was white to me, but people were saying blue, and I thought it was just like a joke. That right. They were like trying to. And women, me. the reason the reason women like colors, and I don't don't quote me on my science, right? But the reason women like colors of pink and stuff more than boys is because women actually see more shades, and they see those colors more vividly. That is my it's favorite proven color. social science, right? Yeah, and so Yanni Yanni uh green needle what's the other one it goes something green needle yanny yanny oh are, yeah you oh brainstorm yeah you tried to do that to me before, brainstorm and you know what i didn't hear what he if you guys don't know weird. what i'm talking about you look up brainstorm green needle and then look up yanny yanny and 
Certain people hear brainstorm, certain people hear green needle. I can hear them both. Just whatever, whatever consciousness I choose to tune into. If I'm trying to perceive Yanni, I'll hear Yanni. If I'm trying to, perceive I can Yanni, hear whatever I read I'll hear first. <laughs> and it, it's just another one of those experiments. Like when you look at the the symmetrical patterns that are moving, and they're all optical illusions in a sense. Like you're perceiving false reality. Like what you're seeing is not true. The worst witnesses at a crime are the eyewitnesses because people are actually really, really bad at perceiving reality. We take shortcuts. We glance at things. Was that so and so? You look at them again. That didn't wasn't even close. Right. That's me, isn't that's it? That's her. All yeah. Day. Every time like, I see anyone who I think I seen, that's just them. We've seen every employee that you know. Like, <laughs> geez, man. Yeah, your old employees. We used to see them everywhere. Yeah, uh, I know. I just I think I seen them. That was them. I just think that that's scary. I would be a scary witness. So. Right. The ideas I have are nothing new. I mean, I'm just repeating ideas I've heard from smarter people. Right. But. We just need people who can really think outside the box. I don't know what that means. You know, there's three year old kids who can play Mozart. They didn't learn that. It was given to them. I don't know why. You know, they just they you know, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know why their reality is so different. But in their reality, they're just born knowing Mozart. They just see it. Right. Like our four year old can read better than like he can read better than I can. Yeah. And I he's can. been able to read better than me since he was two. Like he's and incredible. My oldest son's not really the best at reading at all, but he's good at other things. So right. it's just weird, you know. He is like a crazy good memory. It's it's insane. Like that it's just interesting how everyone's so different. I guess. Well, if we're in a program, right? If if we're in don't imagine as a computer. Imagine the computer is the universe and there's something outside of the universe and we're just in the inner framework of the computer. And imagine Imagine I wanted to escape it, right? Well, I would have to be able to get past the known universe, right? I'd have to be able to break past the universe. If we sense a rocket and if it went on forever, the problem is the universe originated from a singular point. So it expands. The only thing faster than the speed of light is the expansion of the universe. So if we send a telescope to perceive a star, the star that you're seeing is a star that existed a million years ago. You're just seeing the light from a million years ago. The, the, the sky, when you look up at the sky, the sky doesn't look like it looks like right now. Things are not in the same place that you see them. None of that's true. When you look at the sky, that's one of the biggest ways you know what you're seeing is not real because it takes that light millions of years in, in some cases to get to your eyes. And so you're seeing so weird. You're seeing in the past. When you look at the sun, you're seeing like seven minutes ago. So if there, if you if you looked up at the sun and saw a solar flare, for example, the second you see it, you're like, oh, my God, the sun just had a solar flare. But in reality, it was actually seven minutes ago. Wow. So it, it's just one of those things that like it's all just perceiving things man it's all perceiving things and then when you get into the quantum when you start trying to understand like quantum mechanics and stuff uh not that i do but it's just interesting to me but you really understand that people don't know what's going on i mean you really don't like you think of who's the smartest quantum mechanic the, who's the smartest quantum physicist on the planet right well you have him on and you listen to him talk and then what he's basically telling you is we think we know but we have no clue no clue so it's just interesting, man. So I love movies like this. Just anything that makes you think. I think I think I just have a bias of thinking this stuff's fun. Like, I, w I want all this stuff to be true. I'm not saying I believe it is, but I want it to be, you know, because it'd be more interesting. I like interesting. I hope you do, too. But uh, just a good movie. Yeah. Any final thoughts? No, I just had a blast. I can't wait to see more of Jim Carrey, I guess. Uh, didn't And honestly, in this movie, you didn't really get to see too much of his like you saw his acting when he's being like unhinged a little bit. But other than that, he was like just acting very confused most of it. So I didn't really get to see him in like his best, I guess you could say. Right. So I, I would like to see him when he's like, you know, has a different role. I guess all I'm saying is if you're into this type of stuff, man, listen to all of it. Listen to your Michio Kakus. Listen to your Neil deGrasse Tyson. Sure, listen to him. But don't don't count out your Donald Hoffins, man. Listen to the people that are considered fringe too. listen to the people who don't tote the mainstream narrative. Uh, try not to look into the fact that everyone who has like a mainstream narrative is bought and paid for by the government. They all like get their money from somewhere. They're all their livelihood is to continue to allowed to be on TV. So they have to tote the line man. they have to tote the mantra. I hope you guys understand that. But be open minded to everything. Never oh, close your mind off to anything, man, because if someone's trying to tell you that they know the truth of the universe, they're lying to you and they're trying to get an upper hand on you and they're trying to manipulate you in some type of way. So I think that's the lesson of the movie, at least in my mind. And I had a good time watching it. Hope I didn't annoy you guys talking with my guru jump. Uh, <laughs> just some fun thoughts, man. Let me know what you think in the comments. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe we're not. And we'll see you guys on the next one.